And here we go, post-tour of duty. He's Ira Chaffel. I'm Jeff Cameron. Thanks for joining us. Warchant TV, warchant.com. That was fun. Beautiful morning for it. I feel like every time we do this, Ira, we see about 10 guys that we're drooling over in the sense of what they could provide for this team. But big picture, what I also realize is this is how they develop the culture uh, that now everybody's really proud of and that Mike talks about that leadership coming from things like this coach storms did afterwards as well yeah i thought one of the cool things is you know we we wondered about this team's mindset after last season you know they had a tremendous season but they also lost a ton of players and then they had the snub and you wondered like what the mentality and then the embarrassment in the orange bowl you just kind of wondered what the mentality would be and i thought josh storms really uh summed up perfectly he said look then this is a young team with a lot of proof lots of proof even some of the older guys the josh farmers and shaheen browns and those guys feel like they have a lot of proof there's a hunger and then the transfers the way they've come in as well um, again it's it's all puppy dogs and rainbows at this time of year <laughs> on every college campus but particularly here I mean I thought they're the coaches are really fired up by what they've seen in this tour of duty it's like the, the shot in the arm for the the guys that transferred in these are names that everybody knows. They get excited, we, whether it's the Alabama grouping or if it's a, an LSU player or a Georgia player. It doesn't really matter. It's like those guys, while well-known, haven't proven anything on the field right. yet. So they bring an extra intensity and life to all this because they know this is their time, and that rubs off on some of the veteran players that have been through these wars already here at Florida State. Yeah, I thought there was a really cool moment or towards the end at one of the drills where Malik Benson, the transfer from Alabama yeah. receiver, and Jalen Brown, the young transfer receiver from LSU. You've got a fourth-year guy who came from junior college to Alabama, now to Florida State. Jalen Brown, a young freshman, highly touted, went to LSU, now he's here at Florida State. And those two guys, at the end of a drill, the way they were smiling and laughing and supporting each other was really cool. And then we hear Mike Norvell and Josh Storms talk about them afterwards and really singled out Malik Benson. Apparently, he has been a, just a tremendous teammate. Josh Storm said he lives in the building. Mm -hmm. He's goes from workout to workout to workout, just can't get enough of football. And man, that's exciting when you hear about guys that have that much talent. He was the number one junior college player in the country two years ago, goes to Alabama as a highly recruited uh, transfer. And, and he's apparently, again, one of the hardest workers on the team. I don't think these guys understand. We're talking we're about Florida State football. We're trying to this is important stuff. I, I don't. I, we got to figure this out. That's un, that's unreasonable <laughs> for us to have to talk through this like this. We're like, pros. We'll make it happen. But sweet uh, Jesus, guys. Like that thing, that that building's not supposed to be finished. I think for another year and a half. But they're out here at seven in the morning, uh, putting in the work. I will say this: that uh, you guys are going to have to get used to this because any videos we shoot from over here for the next. Two 15, years. Months. <laughs> it's going to be insane. All right, so a couple guys real quick before we wrap it up. Everybody looks good. You know that's going to be the case. But let's pick a veteran and a newcomer that stood out to you. I think we have some similar observations. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to steal one right off the bat because I don't want you to take mine. Hakeem Williams. You haven't like shut up about Hakeem Williams I, all morning. Come on, man. <laughs> Forget about it. That dude could start in the NFL tomorrow, it's, let alone have a good season for the Knowles this year. It's crazy. You always see the guys from one year to the second year, how much better they get in the drills you know a year ago Hakeem Williams was an early enrollee and man he, he was, was struggling he, he was, struggled he was mightily. struggling out here and he looks like a completely different guy he looked good last fall man. he looks even better now man. unreal he looks like a phenomenal athlete uh, just in great shape again encouraging everybody else and and, and I think a bunch of those you know second year guys yes. I mean, he's one of them but that, that group of second year guys uh, Quindarius Jones, uh, KJ Kirkland, all those guys really have, have made a big leap. I think that's accurate. Yeah, I, I was really impressed. I'm glad you said that. I think the second year guys, guys who we got a glimpse of a year ago who bought in, mm -hmm. we saw the way they transformed their bodies at the end of the year last year. You were kind of like, oh, they've come a long way. And now you see them out here this morning and you think, okay, these guys are ready to lead. Yeah. So, and you got a you got a veteran guy and a, and a newcomer. Yeah, a veteran to? guy. I mean, I'm a, you stole the obvious one well, for, buddy, for, for, I had to do for, uh, for the second year guys. Daryl Jackson also is a veteran guy. I mean, he was, uh, I mean, he, again, just looks like a completely different guy. Tremendous shape. Um, he and Josh Farmer look like they're going to be a problem. I mean, those two dudes can really move at that size. Josh Farmer now is over 310 pounds, which is crazy when you think. And he wears a tiny shirt. I don't know why he wears a tiny <laughs> shirt. It's like a fat man in a little coat type thing going on. And I don't mean that as an insult, Josh. Don't hurt me. <laughs> certainly, certainly don't. No, uh, no. As far as the freshmen go, man, I really like those young DBs. There's a lot of dudes. I mean, there's a lot of impressive guys. But those young DBs like Kai Bates and uh, Charles Lester, um, you know, that group uh, – J Jamari Howard, that whole group of freshman yeah. DBs is impressive. And then also the young uh, receivers, Camden Fryer, I thought really agile, 
Uh, and again, like once I name one guy, I want to name a bunch of other guys. Yeah, we didn't short changing you know, people. Some of the other transfers. Jalen Lucas is a guy that transferred. Ooh, sudden, from, huh? I mean, man, that fast. Kid, he, they got to find a way to do more than just right. you know, kick returns, right? Yeah, that dude can go. Get the ball in his hands. He's shifty and really just sudden. Yeah, I agree. You'll write about it. I'll talk about it this afternoon on the Jeff Cameron Show. Wake Up War Channel talk about it. Yeah. I think Corey's going to do a show again, right, at some we'll, point? We'll see. We'll yeah. see. Yeah. We'll, somebody will fill in with we'll, Aslan. We'll, we'll make it happen. We'll make it happen. But we got yeah. plenty of videos on the site. Aslan Tons. and Ben were shooting videos, and uh, Gene was taking photos. And it was just we'll it was too much. It felt like it was too much. Go to WarChannel.com. Just so much information and video. And, Conversation was great. And heavy machinery. And these we, guys. Good Christ. All right. Next time, we'll have even more information about these guys. Go to WarChant.com, WarChant TV, Jeff Cameron Show, Wake Up WarChant, all that good stuff. We'll talk to you, uh, I guess, real soon, next week after, whatever that is. Yeah. <laughs>